Hello and welcome to a Smurd P video and today we are looking at McFarlane's Avatar The Last End Airbender from Nickelodeon Suko and on the front we got this nice little slim package and just so I'm clear this is the 5 inch line up here we got this beautiful picture Ooh. and then on the back we have Suko what looks to be holding his fire burning stuff and it reads Prince Suko is the rightful heir to the Fire Lord's throne but after speaking out against his father Fire Lord Uza strips the prince of his birthright banishes him from his homeland telling him the only way he will allow him to return is with the Avatar dead or alive now he is obsessed with capturing the Avatar Suko's greatest weaknesses are his arrogance and impatience. He believes firebending is the most dominant art and can never be bested by water, earth, or airbending. Pretty cool. And it is a pretty cool series anyway. So I'm going to get this out so we can have a first closer look at this figure. Suko is one of those um, great characters that um, he's created to be sort of the bad guy. Uh, but he has such an interesting story that you you end up loving him at times, hating him at times, and he's just just a character full of depth. Like like pretty much most of them, they all have their their own stuff going on. Let me just bring my cam my camera my light around there. So the head sculpt is absolutely phenomenal. We got the lovely burnt scar on he over his eye and ear, which is great. The lovely little headband. I mean. For a 5 inch figure that was about 15 quid, this has some amazing detail on it. McFarlane has done uh, an amazing job with this, which looks absolutely stunning. Um, blah, 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 um, we say an um a lot. Stop saying um. That is just ridiculous. Right, let me just. Oh man, my light's not working out the way that I want it to work out. There we go, right. That better. Okay, right, so first up is the magic pint glass for the water because I have work in the morning and he is way smaller than that. Look at that. That is at least a couple of inches bigger. Uh, in terms of articulation, if we look at the head, head turns around, very, very stiff, turns around, oh, very limited motion up and down. The arm goes up. But it's restricted by this little area here. Same with here. Uh, the arm does go out like that. So it has a little, of, not a butterfly, but it has the little bit that pops out like that. You're, you, the articulation is really hindered by the armor there. Now the elbow does go up and it does move around like that. It's a very thin elbow joint. So I would say air with caution and not really anything at the wrist it's, there's literally nothing there so which is disappointing uh the leg is even harder because he has this thick kind of skirt here so he does have articulation there but you're always restricted and then he has this little oh sorry he has this little joint here where you can lift that up there and then nothing on the feet. Again, very static foot. So, in terms of articulation, very limited. But it's not, I'm not really actually surprised at this. Considering it's a 5 inch figure. And I guess the audience of this, I mean, I've got to say, the audience has got to be grown ups now. Because this show started in 2006. Um, I remember um, thinking, well, what's that guy do with the, the Avatar that was on TV, the, the movie Avatar? It uh, was well, nothing to do with it. And I never watched it. I had it. Um, a friend gave it to me on on, a, my, on my external hard drive once, and I had it for ages. I meant to watch it. I just never did. I've only watched it recently because my son was like, oh, the series is so good, Dad. you got to watch it. So I watched it, and I thought it was awesome. So... To give us uh, a limited articulation figure is a uh, slight disappointment, but the detail of it is phenomenal. And it is very, 
solid. I guess if you could get around this lifting up, etc., it looks like he's got a tie there. You would, I guess, want pegs on the bottom so he could do like his fire kick, etc. Even though I, I know a lot of time he used his his thing, I feel like the effects could have been, um, you know, like Marvel Legends where they have like little things firing out. I felt like they could have done a little bit more with that. But the detail on this figure and and the the cast is amazing. So I've got to give them kudos for that because it does look stunning. And you can easily put this easily on your shelf if you have an Avatar um, Last Airbender shelf. It's I, I would buy these, to be honest with you, for that as well. Especially the fact that, um, what have I got coming up? I've got Soko, Katara, the main man Aang, we've got Aang with a glider, and we got Appa. That is the biggest one. That is the one that I'm probably most excited for because I thought, whoa, that looks so cool. And at that point, when these were first announced, I hadn't even watched it. So I've watched it since. Um, but the, the reason that I probably took notice was because my son said, well, he kept telling me about it. Um, so that's probably why I took notice of him. I said, hey, it'd be cool to get them and just do a quick review off them, you know, even if I don't keep them. But they are absolutely stunning. I mean, you know, the, the detail just on there, just look at that. It's really, really nice detail. Some really thick, strong plastic as well. Detail off the head sculpt. So from that perspective, this is hands down a quality figure. And sometimes McFarlane, what I know is he, um, he gives sometimes quality over articulation. Now, I did see the other day that they he's releasing a 7-inch line, which you would think would have more articulation, but I find it odd that this has happened, and he's gone and done that. I would have parved out the 5-inch line, and then gone with the 7-inch line? To say the 7-inch line's got more articulation or something? I don't know. I don't know. I don't even know if he's got more articulation. Um, I'm not sure if I'm going to grab them, because Looking at these, these are quite cool, and I just feel like it's ridiculously double dipping so soon after the other. So anyway, if you like my channel, please subscribe to my channel. If you like what I do, please subscribe to my channel. And most importantly, take care of yourself and embrace geekiness. Goodbye. Sorry, I'm back. Um, one thing that I clearly overlooked and forgot to check was, does he have an ab crunch? No, but he does have, to my surprise, waist swivel so you can get in into cool shots like that i guess that's the only way to do it so anyway that's me i'm done subscribe and embrace geekiness goodbye